Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Romney Smith at WTOC for the News Now. This is where we bring you local, regional, and national news just to keep you in the loop. Thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your day. We're on various platforms as well right now. WTOC.com, our website, the WTOC apps, Amazon Fire, Roku, Twitter, and Facebook. And that's where you can actually interact with me right now. Say hello, give a shout out to where you're watching from, ask a question, and I'll do my best to get you an answer. All right, so I know it's election day. We'll get to that in just a moment, but we're actually starting with some breaking news. There is an active shooter right now in Panama City, Florida. This is happening at an apartment complex in PC, Florida. This is a picture on CNN.com right now. People in that area reported hearing multiple loud gunshots between 50 and 100. We can confirm at this time that one person is injured and police are also saying this situation at the apartment complex may be directly connected to an earlier shooting that killed one person. So again, an active shooter right now at an apartment complex in Panama City, Florida. One person is confirmed to be injury, injured. We do not know exactly where they're injured or the extent of that person's injury, but we are working to get more details. People in the complex saying they heard various loud gunshots, dozens of them rattling off at rapid fire. Again, you're looking at a picture of police on scene right now. We only have two pictures. This coming from CNN.com. Certainly a heavy police presence responding to this report and that at this time law enforcement believes it may be connected to an earlier shooting in Panama City, Florida that killed one person. We will continue to monitor that and bring you the very latest. Switching gears now, of course, it is primary day in Georgia. So we have an entire team of reporters fanned out all across the place. There are plenty of election contests to settle, including who will become the Republican nominee for governor. Of course, there are five men running to become governor on the Republican side, including the current lieutenant governor, Casey Cagle, and two women on the Democrat side vying to become governor as well. If one of them wins, meaning Stacey Abrams or Stacey Evans, it will make history for Georgians electing its first female governor. Both parties have very competitive races for lieutenant governor and secretary of state as well. Those offices are being vacated by Republican incumbents running for governor. Several crowded face crowded races could require runoffs on July 24th if no candidate finishes with more than 50 percent of the vote. So in case you've been hearing about possible runoffs and having to vote again, that's why. Also, another big race, as I just mentioned, Secretary of State. It holds a greater significance this year because George is actually considering replacing its electronic voting machines with a paper backup system. So the candidates are fighting for Brian Kemp's position. He's running for governor. So there are four Republican candidates for Secretary of State. One is the current mayor of Alpharetta, David Bell Isle, and the other is State Representative Buzz Brockway. There are also State Senator Josh McCoon and State Representative Brad Raffensperger. They're all qualified and running right now as Secretary of State can Republican candidate. Now on the Democratic side, running for Secretary of State, we have former U.S. Representative John Barrow facing former State Representative D. Dawkins Hagler and R.J. Hadley, who is the Chief Deputy Tax Commissioner for Rockdale County. That is just one of the many races we're covering for you today at WTOC on Election Day. Again, another thing to keep in mind, this Election Day has already had hiccups. As you know, the polls opened at 7 o'clock this morning. They will stay open until 7 p.m. And from the very beginning, there were issues. WTOC's um, re reporter Meredith Parker has more. Hey, digital viewers. So can you imagine going to your polling location this morning and then no one being there? Well, that's exactly what happened to a few voters in the Chatham County area. They went to LaRoche Avenue, to Riverview Health Center, and no one was there. The polling location had changed back in 2016. Now it's at Oglethorpe Charter House School, and they're trying to get the confusion fixed up over there. Officials say they're a little embarrassed about the mishap, but they're trying to get everything fixed right now. And if you need a ride to the polls, another organization locally has got you covered. All you have to do is call the local NAACP office again. Some people joking, do I have to be an African-American? No, that's ridiculous. The number is 912-233-4161. They are open until 6.30 p.m. They will pick you up and take you to the polls so you can vote and then bring you back home. Again, that information on our website, the number one more time for you, 912-233-4161. And I didn't forget about my low country viewers, those of you in South Carolina. It's not your primary day. You can still vote early, though, right now. 
your primary is on June 12th. So keep that in mind. Early voting right now will continue until 5 p.m. on June 11th. WTOC has a newsroom that is buzzing right now. We have live, complete team coverage for you all evening long. Stick with us on various platforms. We're talking our newscasts, of course, which are on television, Facebook, Fire, Amazon Fire, Roku. We also will be doing several digital news updates to keep you in the loop. In fact, we were doing so many, I had to write them down. We're coming back on at 7.30, 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10, and 10.30, just to make sure you are up to date with the very latest of the numbers coming in on local, regional, and state level offices with the Georgia primary. So you can always stay in the loop on our website, WTOC.com, for all of that. And of course, I like to end with something a little light, and I can't end without giving a shout out to the Benedict cadets they got their second yes look at the video their second state title in baseball since 2014 this is their third overall they beat the Berrien Rebels by sweeping both games in the best of three series at Grayson Stadium the cadets battled back to win game one six to three and then wrapped up the title with a three to zero shutout a big congratulations to them an incredible season and from all of us here at WTOC Congratulations to all of you. I know those seniors are especially excited because they got to end their senior year with a state title. So excited. Congratulations, guys. You guys had an amazing season. I always tell you guys you can weigh in on Facebook right now. Leave any comments, questions, concerns. I see a lot of you guys saying hello. Thank you so much for watching us. We certainly appreciate that. And now a lot of you weighing in on that active shooter situation I mentioned at the very top of the newscast happening in Panama City, Florida right now. Here's another picture again of the very heavy police presence. There was multiple shots. Residents report anywhere from 50 to 100 rapid fire shots that they heard. One person has been confirmed injured at this time. And authorities also believe it might be directly tied to another deadly shooting in the Panama City area. So Patricia calls Swenson weighing in saying, I'm so sorry. Other people saying sending out prayers to them. So we certainly appreciate you guys weighing in. And, of course, my girl Janet Dozier in Jacksonville. Love you for watching all the time. Saying it's raining cats and dogs in Jacksonville. Us here, too. We've got a lot of rain going on. And I know someone else was saying they're tired of the rain. Unfortunately, it's in your forecast for the next few days. So, of course, if you want more details on the forecast, you can always tune in at 4 p.m. The CBS affiliate right here in Savannah. We will have your full first alert forecast, but I can spoil it already for you and say there's more rain that's coming. You can always join us online at WTOC.com and our social media platforms. We thank you for spending just a few days out of minutes out of your day with us to get caught up on all the breaking news.